Well, hello, boys and girls, and welcome to our kids' spot. I was wondering, do you ever find it hard to be patient? Oh, I do. Oh, man, these cookies, they take so long to cook. Oh, this puzzle's gonna take forever. It's too hard. Oh, hurry up and load. I want to play the game. Are you a little bit like me, boys and girls? It's hard to be patient, isn't it? Well, in the Bible, in the last chapter of the book of James, James chapter 5, James teaches us to be patient. See, he says to us that one day Jesus will return. He will come back and he will take us to be with him if we believe and follow Jesus. And it's going to be awesome. It's going to be better than any food. It's going to be better than any puzzle. It's going to be better than any game you can play. It's going to be wonderful. But in the meantime, while we wait for Jesus to come back, well, we need to be patient. Well, James in James chapter 5 tells us about one very patient person. He was strong and steadfast and he did not move and he was always patient as he waited for what God was doing. And his name is Job. In the Old Testament, everything did not go right for Job. In fact, almost everything went wrong. But he was very patient in waiting to see what God was doing. And James says, we need to be the same. Just like a farmer is patient waiting for his crops to grow, and they do, as we heard earlier in our prayer time, we also need to be patient, patient waiting for Jesus to return. And while we are patiently waiting for Jesus to return and take us to be with him forever, where it's going to be wonderful and better than anything else we could ever imagine We need to be patient with one another as well. James chapter 5 teaches us not to grumble, not to be upset, but to be patient, standing strong and trusting God and waiting for His plan to come true. Well, when we feel like not being patient, we remember the farmer and we remember Job And we trust God and be patiently waiting for Jesus to come back. Today, if you are in kids' church, you're going to learn about that. Boys and girls, if you are at home watching this with uh, with mum and dad or grandma and grandpa, you have the chance to learn about this too in your kids' sheets. And don't forget to remind mum and dad to register to be here for Kids Church next week. A full kids program is being had week by week and it's wonderful and there's plenty more spots. We'd love you to join us.